After reaching Falmouth, Diablo presents the king in his tragic state. Rosin informs them about the defeat of the Falmouth army. Rosin also presents the made-up story that Diablo came up with. According to Rosin's story, the battle between the monsters and the Falmouth army awakened the sleeping dragon Veldora. As a result, Veldora went on a rampage and wiped out their army. However, demon lord Remuru somehow managed to calm Veldora down. Thanks to Remuru, they managed to escape. The archbishop also confirms that whatever Raisin told them is true. Eom also steps in to convince the nobles of Falmouth. He implies that Remuru wishes to coexist with humans. But one of the nobles arrogantly declares that they will use Eom to convey their demands to Tempest. In response, Eom tells them that Remuru is very angry right now. Then, that idiotic noble starts disrespecting Remuru. Meanwhile, Diablo starts to get angry. Raisin tries to stop him, but he again starts talking arrogantly. Thus, Raisin uses magic to freeze him. Well, he knows that things will turn ugly if Diablo gets angry. After some back and forth, the nobles of Falmouth finally decide to accept their offer. <laughs> Thus, Diablo makes his entry. Diablo then proceeds to restore the king. Diablo then delivers a message from Remuru. He gives them three options. The first one is that the king will abdicate the throne and compensate Tempest. The second option is that Falmouth will surrender to Tempest and become a vassal state. The third option is that the war will continue. By the way, Diablo gives them one week to select an option. As Diablo is leaving, one of the nobles tries to complain about the options. But when they try to complain again, <laughs> he also makes it clear that what they want means nothing to Rimuru. 